but I want to especially keep yours from Makakaja. Uh, let's see. I don't really care about Ogun, but I'll keep I mean knows that Umi. You got Ketsai Kawato. Okay, cool. Um No, I don't want to create a persona. Leave. We're done. So these are going to be the personas that I use for the foreseeable future. A good long while. So Take a minute to listen to this awesome dungeon music. Like I said, it's my favorite track in the game, probably. Uh, this dungeon is a pain in the patoot. I guess the best way to describe this would be sort of kind of a teleporter maze. But what they do is they... Uh, you end up... They, they don't... There's no teleporters. What it is is it's uh, pitfalls. So... Uh, if you go down the wrong way, you gotta climb back up and bleh. Anyway, but it's easy to see where the pitfalls are because they're always behind these doors. Which is nice. Um, there's some treasures uh, off the beaten path, which I'm gonna go get first. Uh, no, we've got to actually... Let's use this. We'll just have you guard for this battle. Our Megadola. Already ranked six with Janus. That's pretty good. Alright, so I need to switch my dudes around a little bit in battle formation. So let's go ahead and put you there, you there, and you there. Is that what I want? Yeah, for now. Alright. And so now we're going to squash our way to victory. Oh, yeah. Ah. I don't want to use Megidola. Because it'll basically one-shot these battles until I've had a, a chance to gain a couple of ranks with everybody else. Because when you use a persona, every time its ranks go up, all of its stats go up. Because their personas are gaining levels too. And they gain levels like in the main stats like strength, vitality, uh, dexterity, agility, just like the characters do. But in addition to that, their magic defense and magic attack goes up every level. Uh, well, okay. I'm not sure where he got Bufu from, but... I'm pretty sure that Persona doesn't have Bufu. Toxic Sting. Toxic Sting's not a bad attack, actually. A Stoma. A stone is not that good in this game, to be honest. Uh, a 
because it only works on demons that are lower level than your average party level. And what ends up happening is you go through the game at such a rapid pace that you end up the enemies end up out leveling you pretty fast. They don't the battles don't really particularly get any harder. Uh, how many? Fifteen chewing souls. That should be plenty. All right, so now I want to go this way. And then we want to go up and around. All right, none of these guys I want. So let's use Megidola. And I'll show you the power of this spell. It's pretty busted. But you also see the downside of using it. Whoever you've got uh, Megidolaing the enemy's faces is going to basically steal all of the experience. For now, I'm fine with that being the main character, uh, but I think I'm just going to have him do... whatever here. Toxic Sting, that's nice. Okay. Nanjo getting his work in. Okay, we're on B6. This map is incredibly hard for me to read. But I'll be okay, I think. this way. Uh, we're going to ignore you because you're a toilet. And that offends me on a spiritual level. Now having uh having Mark use Medea Rahan every turn might not be a bad well he can't use it now because he's binded but well in that case <coughs> I mean I was trying to share the experience. Topaz, Turquoise, Malachite, uh, Gems, in addition to occasionally a demon will ask for one, although that doesn't seem to have too much bearing on whether or not, like, they actually give you your the spell card, just go away. Um, they also can be used in demon fusion, or excuse me, spell card fusion, where you Let's see, hold on, let me see. I might just need to trace dough out. Yeah, I just need to trace dough out. <coughs> Let's go ahead and 
Dude, Mega Dolo one more time. I should get a level and should get his SP restored. Nice. I'm going to stop around 80 agility. Because uh, the armor that we're going to be getting later-ish has lots of stat boost to it. And I don't want to waste some of them. So, start working on my decks. Now we're going to just Toxic Sting. I should probably look at... I'm glad I got that Magma Stone. That's coming in really handy in this dungeon. Okay, so... Level are you? You're the lowest, right? 22? Yeah, by quite a large margin, actually. Okay, so we're going to. We're going to start using Medea Rahan every round with him. Go here. Thankfully, on a lot of these four, there's only one path. And they very clearly mark what. Uh, I think I will eternal wipe those guys, but they very clearly mark like, where you can go with the uh, doors. Also, I really love the s sounds those guys make when you hit them. It's such a good sound. done it now. Although I, I think these guys in the back might actually uh, reflect the Megadola. Or not reflect, but block, yeah. It's fine. So now we're going to switch to guns. So, the main character, his guns are amazing in this dungeon, but I'm actually, I, I don't, I'm trying not to use them because you get much less persona experience if you don't cast a spell. So. Oh, she put up her dukes. But yeah, that's six hits at 30 points of damage apiece. That's like, what? 300 points of damage? No, that's not 300 points of damage. Six times three is to be 240. That's that's pretty respectable damage. <laughs> and then, like, the each hit, each individual hit can crit. And it'll do like three times the amount of damage. I think this one doesn't have anything in it. No? Okay. I was wrong. I was wrong all around. Laugh at me. And I don't want to trace to back out yet, I don't think. I want to... Let's go down to the next floor and we'll see. Um... Actually, you know what? Let's just have you use your gun. Because I don't particularly care about you getting any more Persona levels. Dear Rahan and the Magma. The gun gets even better when the stores change next because they have uh, shock bullets <laughs> or charm bullets. I forget. Is it shock or charm? I think it's charm, actually. And yeah, it's pretty good. But you get somewhere around half the amount of Persona experience. Uh, I really only need my Persona level to be... The... 
What is it? Oh no, he needs to be 36. But he'll he'll get that by the end of the game. So. Okay, so we're yeah, this is where I want to be. So we want to go down here, and we're on B8. And we want to go down this way. I really wish Tresto... Uh, I don't want to contact these guys. I really wish Tresto... No. Use Toxic Sting here. Uh worked like it did in pretty much every other game where it just stops random battles, but it doesn't. Um... We'll just do this. level up my personas. Uh, I think at rank 5, that's when uh, Nanjo is, the Gozo Tenno is going to get Megiddo. So, lo I'm looking forward to that. Nice, okay. Not too bad, not too bad. I need to watch uh, Maki's M or SP. It's not MP. And we want to go down this way to get the chest here. And for this, we're just gonna gun. Nice. <laughs> Yeah. With the super high agility I have, uh, I'm going to crit constantly. And we're talking, like, it gets to the point where you crit three or four times per, like, seven shots. Chewing souls, more of those. Okay, so now we just want to... Oh, okay. I guess you can't use it in the rooms. I've never tried that before. <laughs> 